to my second video of my Disney cruising for the elderly introverts uh, and where our trip to the Castaway Cay aboard the Disney Wish. I got this in the mail a few days after I had fully paid for my trip. It contained our luggage ta tags, which we should, didn't use because we wanted to carry on, but I packed them anyway uh, because we might want to have Disney remove our bags. Uh, after you make your reservation, uh, download the app uh, for the Disney Cruise. It's very helpful. Uh, you can start your online check-in process 30 days before your cruise. Uh, there's a big clock when you go onto the app that counts it all down. Now you'll need your passport in a recent close-up picture. So I put those four files on my iPad so that that morning, 30 days in advance, I'd be able to quickly go through the process where you've got to upload these, these photos onto there. And I got an early boarding time of 11.30, which I was very happy uh, about. Now, some higher level cruisers can check in earlier, uh, like if you're a pearl or, sur or silver, but you probably know that process already. Uh, make sure you also have already fully paid uh, in case you want an excursion that you want to book. Uh, I had already picked early dining, uh, just in case we changed our mind and, just, and decided to attend some of the dining shows. There's a lot of other things that you can do in the app, chat, find characters, ship map. But I found the best ship map was on the wall of the ships. Um, I traveled by stairs, as you'll see in later videos, up and down. Uh, and there's always a map right there by the uh, elevator. There are 11 decks on the boat, and we picked room 6116 on the sixth deck. Uh, it's pretty low, and I get seasick, so you want to be lower and as close to the middle as I could. Um, I never felt any motion on the ship in my room, uh, even during the little rough area as you're leaving the port. Uh, I spent a lot of time on this issue on Facebook group pa page and, and finally decided on this. Uh, and I picked the port side, which is the left side of the ship when it's face forward. To remember, both words have four letters, port and left. Uh, the better side might be the starboard or the right side. When you're at port, you see all the loading, and then uh, as you pass by the beach, you see all the people on the beach as you're leaving Cape Canaveral. Uh, we instead got to see uh, the sail belonging to uh, a ship, which I'll mention later in the video, I hope. Uh, we like a more private experience and want it to have, be, have quiet in our stateroom. In Nassau, the port side will have a view of downtown Nassau, and the starboard side will have a view of the outer island. So I enjoyed that in Nassau because we didn't get off, but I still could see all of the city. Uh, so however, depending on the day uh, and the time that you ship that you're in, you're likely to get a view of, of, of the carnival ship on one side and the Norwegian ship on the other side as they start to come into port. Uh, and I think the starboard side's a little bit better when you're at Castaway Cay. And before I left home, I also uh, printed this agenda where I, I had each floor on it. I knew that the muster was going to be on the third floor. Uh, I know that the movies were going to be on deck four. So I'd be able to go up and down and, and know which way I was going. Uh, since we had an 11.30 uh, PDT, which is called Port Departure Time, uh, we left at 9.30. Uh, it's only a 90 minute drive. And then we stopped at the Turkey Lake Service Plaza. So we're the morning of our cruise and we're stopped here at Turkey Lake Service Plaza. If you've ever been to one of the Florida service plazas, these are really quite a treat. There's places to shop, there's places to get gas. Uh, KFC isn't open yet, it's about 9.30, but, uh, but there's a, this place, there's a nature's table. The restrooms are really large and wide open. Uh, there's a Wendy's, there's a Dunkin Donuts, and they're really just a great place to come in, go to the bathroom, not at all like the rest areas I've seen. The one thing they have here is they have a vending machine from the Cake Boss, so they have all this cake that you can get. Welcome to Carlos Bakery Express. So we live about 77 miles from Terminal 8 at Port Canaveral. Uh, for you coming in at the airport, it's about a 45 minute drive, uh, a little bit longer, uh, and you want to just take 528 east uh, towards, uh, uh, well, Cocoa Beach, uh, Port Canaveral. Uh, but for us, we live on the other side of Orlando, which means that we have to cross Orlando to get to the port. Uh, it takes about 90 minutes to drive from our house, uh, and it would be 30 minutes if uh, 
if we wanted to get to a DVC or D Disney Vacation Club property, we're a member at Sarasota Springs. So if we went there the night before, we could have left our car at the hotel and then taken the DCL bus to the port. So I pondered this decision for quite a while. I wanted to take the DCL bus uh, to be in the loving care of Disney Cruise Lines that morning, but I knew my husband would prefer to have his vehicle with him. And the price was more too. It's about $40 per person to take the DCL bus, bus uh, each way, so $160 compared to $68 to park at the terminal plus gas. We get about 30 miles per gallon, uh, so only about five gallons, so it's a lot less to drive and park. Driving ended up being a good coast, uh, choice, a beautiful drive. Uh, we got to see the, the Brightline train being put in. Uh, it's just lovely going, lovely. Once you get out of the Orlando metro area, it's a beautiful drive over there. Uh, but one problem, there's no rest areas on the beach line, the 528, uh, from the turnpike all the way to the cruise port. There's one McDonald's when you're about 12 miles away, but then again, you can just wait to go to the parking garage. Once you get close to the ports, there's hundreds of signs of where you get off uh, to go to the port. And then as you get into the port, you're going to Terminal 8. So lots and lots of signs for that. Um, it's real easy to find the port and to find your parking. Eight. Oh, Terminal 8, Garage 2, Level 2. There's my suitcase. My suitcase. elevator guest check in right oh we'll go on the escalator here she'll help us oh sure you see those i have to have them out i see yours okay perfect right on in you trust oh. me <laughs> Regular. up into the waiting area and over here there are restrooms so right as you go up to the escalator if you turn right and go around the corner there's restrooms and security was a little long um, I'd have to say about 15 minutes so I guess not that long and now we're waiting for boarding group 7 and you'll see they put these little signs up here So there's uh, there's places here to hook up your electronics. And what I'm looking for is that cruise ship that's here. So you board right into where the big Mickey ears are. And you go through here. 
And here's the big cruise ship I wanted to get a picture of. So we're going to be on the starboard side. No, we're going to be on the port side, so over here. the wrong side of the ship. So we're over here on this side. Pass. So we're going behind me, right down here where those big ears are, right there, right there, over here. So we just boarded and we're in Marceline's Market and we came down here and we're in like an almost a room all to ourselves here and uh, we found ourselves a nice little two table, which I'll show you, but we have a beautiful view of the window. There's lots of big tables here, there's a few little two tables that we decided to pick. So uh, there's the port and the view, and then here's our little place we decided to camp out. So we have a little table here to ourselves. Um, let's see, there's, my, there's me, and see I have my carry-on luggage right there. We have our two big water bottles that will fill up, and uh, it is absolutely beautiful. So when you do arrive at the port, there's where you arrive down there. You pull up, you leave your luggage. The, the guard at the very beginning tells you which one of the numbers to pull up to. And then, after you pull up, you actually then go right over here, and you pull into this garage into the back, and there's a little place for you to put in your credit card. But um, this nice lady um, looked at us and decided to help us, so uh, she helped us by just taking our credit card and then putting in our our information into the little machine and then getting us a ticket and I gave her a little tip because she does rescue dogs and she was getting a poodle that day so uh, it's always help I, I keep in my little outer pocket here uh, tens and fives for the trip probably ten for room service you know for the number of plates and five for if anybody does help us so uh, so it's great uh, to say the boarding process went real well before we knew it we, we hardly had time just to sit down and get on the app and you know, get our chat, we got our chat going between us, and uh, try to get some water, the water fountains weren't really working real well, but uh, we got a little bit of water in uh, Keith's container there, because that's one thing, when we came on this ship just thirsty as can be, because we drove all the way down the beach line, and uh, didn't drink any water, so. I haven't even tried, I did allow the chat to happen, but I don't know. Uh, so there's my lunch. So I got some salmon and some shrimp and some crab and some sweet potato fries. I'll probably go back and get some carrot cake for dessert. And it is 12, about 12.30. So our boarding time was 11.30. And uh, still really nice and empty in here. And uh, we're already up here eating. This is the officer of the watch speaking from the bridge. Refueling operations are complete and you are now allowed to smoke only in designated areas on open decks. Guests may also use their stateroom verandas at this time. Thank you for your attention. 
So once I had Keith settled in Marceline's Market and after I had a wonderful lunch and some great dessert, uh, then I went ahead and toured the boat. Uh, and the rest of our videos will be that tour of the boat. Uh, in fact, the very next one after this, uh, usually about a week apart. Uh, be sure and like and subscribe so you get notified. And visit my website. Eventually there's going to be a free ebook about all this where it'll all be written down. Uh, so keep an eye on that website and uh, subscribe. Thank you.